Um, Sheikh Khan, do you have the uh, reference for the uh, verse of the Quran in which Fir'aun asks Prophet Musa and Prophet Harun about um, how God created him and guided him? Yes. I, I don't remember it right now, but uh, I think. Uh, yeah. But you can search Man Rabbukuma Ya Musa. And the answer was Rabbuna Ladi Ata Kulla Shayya Halkahu from Mahada. There is a question. Salam. First of all, thank you for taking us through the argument in detail. And you used the example of the organ of the body and its creation, its perfection to prove the existence of the designer. The designer that is intelligent and wise. Many of us come to me wear glasses. Does this indicate that the designer goofy made a mistake or he was imperfect in his design that we have eyes which don't quite work the way other people do? Can you share with us how the discrepancies in such a design Perfection or imperfection. <clears throat> when we say that, for example, human organs are made with design, it doesn't mean that this design always remains intact. There can be illnesses, they can be disease, they can be chemicals, <coughs> medicines that can affect our health. Either from the beginning you don't develop healthy organs or you have healthy organs and they will be damaged. What is important is in natural state, in natural condition, you have eyes which work properly. Even the eyes which suffer from some illness, still there is magnificent design there. And this is what makes scientists motivated to find out what is the reason for this and what can be the treatment for this. If there was no design, then you would say, okay, we cannot do anything because in this person, this can happen, another person, something else can happen. It's a chaos. We can never predict. But even our illnesses are perfectly following patterns. And if you know those patterns, you can find treatment. So not only health follows patterns, but illnesses also follow patterns. So nothing happens in this world by chance. And this is what makes scientists motivated to always try to find out what are these patterns and how we can equip ourselves with techniques that we can use these patterns in our favor. Even if there is shortage of rain, again there is a system. And if you study that system, you can learn how to overcome shortage of rain, how to produce artificial rain, for example. Everything is perfectly designed. There is nothing in this world that happens without reason or just by chance. Philosophers also have very well argued that we don't have anything as chance. When we don't know something, it says it was by chance. For example, I went to the street and by chance I saw a friend that I had not seen for 20 years. You think it's chance. But those who know the way things have happened for you and for him they could predict that in 20 years you are going to meet in this place. Yes. Ali has Salam alaikum. Um, thank you for the explanation. Where does the theory of evolution and other such theories that 
um, agnostic group of atheist scientists have put forward fit in with the, the, the process and the design argument that you made? Yeah. We discussed theory of evolution in Unit 3 when we talk about human creation. Because that theory is mostly about human beings. Of course, evolution is general, but the main focus is on human beings. So in Unit 3, we have discussion about it. But now that you have asked, just briefly I can say, even evolution, if we accept it and extend it to human beings, because there are two things. First of all, you may accept evolution, but still you may say, this generation of human being is not a result of evolution. There is no reason why everything has to be a process of evolution. But even if we accept that everything has come through evolutionary process, this would not contradict with design. Actually, as Ayatollah Mutahari says, it would make a better case for design. Now imagine if a person can design a computer that can evolve and upgrade itself. That is a better design. If Allah has created this world in the way that it can evolve, then it's showing more design. So evolution would not contradict design and therefore would not contradict designer. 